Welcome, everyone, to another great episode of the Puff Drink Talk podcast. Uh, I'm still here. I'm still your host, Hunter Schubach. Dylan Wilson. Hilton Kill. And Georgia Biden. <laughs> and this week, we are talking about the Super Bowl and all of the fun activities that I, I was fully entertained. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, and thank you for having us in your house. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, thank you to the viewers out there for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this. Uh, it really helps out. And uh, don't forget, we are expanding our audience to Apple Podcast and Spotify very soon. So we'll let you know on our Instagram the latest and greatest news. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, no, and, and Hilton, will you be supplementing and putting in some footage from the from the Super Bowl? Well, not from Super Bowl, from us supporting the moments during the Super Bowl because it's not be showing, you know, right. in the video. But yeah, right. I yeah, we have I have a few videos to to plug it in. Yeah, so that will be that will be in here. So any of you that are watching these podcasts on YouTube. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode to drop because that's going to have some supporting the Super Bowl footage from my house, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a, in my opinion, it was a great, great. Super George is not paying attention to you because he's enjoying the cigar. Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I was just <laughs> it's too good. It's puff, drink, and talk. Incredible. Yeah. I I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is this is like. Ex- way more than expected for the first puff. You started talking, but he was on the puff still. He's over here just. It's puff drink talks. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. didn't get there yet. Yeah. I didn't get there. I got my coffee and then the puff. Yeah. Jeez. Are you ready for oh. the talk yet? Okay. Yeah, man. I'm sorry about that. Mm. So. And thank Not you for having us in your house. For, of course. You know of to course. experience the American football Super Bowl. <laughs> um, Picanha tradition, tradition. and bruschettas and yeah, what? with uh, none of the American food. <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. And that's what I'm saying is like anymore. It's like we blend our our cultures and traditions oh, together, <laughs> and and I, I I loved it. I mean, right before that, we were dancing to Carnival. Carnival, yeah. Throughout oh, the living room. Those videos are fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. So. Uh, that was another thing that happened. We were, I mean, you know. It's carnival in Brazil right now. Yeah. So. And, of course, our it's wives. A big party. We were, you know, we were getting ready to watch the, the Super Bowl, and the wives are just kind of like, yeah, okay, football time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, let's just start dancing and listening to carnival. And then my music. wife was like, yeah, football's going to start. Let me go yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. She left to grab yeah, to go watch the halftime I show. asked her, I was like, uh, are you coming to the football at Conrad's house? And she was like, of course. <laughs> she wanted to watch she Usher was so in excited <laughs> well not for the football because she likes Camila very oh, much and yeah. then you know and she was oh, like of yeah. course I'm coming <laughs> oh okay no it was good having her you know it was great having you and the kids and stuff and and of course it was just a fun time I had I had a really fun time so thank you guys for, for coming and enjoying I it hope, together I hope your kids woke up at the right time next day because Barely. they were like up late with yes. us so, yes. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I made human friends and canine friends, right? So mm-hmm. Luna and I. Luna, is that right? Uh, yeah, there Lua. Was, Lua. There was a Lua. man. Lua. Conrad's dog. Was a well. We spent a lot of time. Tamir and I spent a lot of time with Lua. I was spiting her, and then she was coming to me. I was like, "No, come, no, go!" And then she was Such coming a to great me. Dog and then the end, like, oh, "Okay, Jeez. come over here." You know what I mean? <laughs> She she honestly is. The I was resting my dog foot on her. <laughs> yeah, she is the sweetest dog I've ever owned and, and ever been around. And she feels like I need I need to conquer that guy over yeah. there. <laughs> he doesn't want me. I He's a mean one, Mister Grinch. <laughs> yeah, it usually works with cats. You got to give them the cold shoulder, and then they like you more. Yeah. Complicated. Yeah. Complicated. You got to make them want. Gym, bro. Yeah. So did you just say you smoked this one before? Yeah, when we were at the depot, yeah. um, probably a couple months ago now. Oh, no, I'll tell you. That's good. Yeah. My goodness. It wasn't that box press yes. torpedo one, though. I think it was probably just a Robusto. Mm. But it was the uh, Aging Room Quattro. It's good. Oh, Nicaragua. yeah, the specific one, right? So yeah. it's, it's just a, a Puro, right? Mm-hmm. It's a Puro in Nicaragua? Yes, sir. Yeah. So far, lovely. It's great. 
I, I like mine that you gave me. Thank you very much. You did? It's yeah. it's it's very delicious. I tend to like almost everything from Nicaragua. We had five of those in here. Remember? From the uh, Flor de Oliva. Oliva. Yeah. And the Dominican pack. One? Yeah. Yeah. But this is a Nicaraguan. I know. No, I mean, it was a pack. I know it was the mother law that I created, so I I chose you the chose packs them. and put it in there. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, well, this one's good. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. It's it's a very good tasting cigar. Yes. Right. For for the price. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah. No, it is a win. You see, because I spent ten dollars on mine, and I almost I I wanted to kill the the cigar and kill myself afterwards because it was terrible. Oh God. Yeah. No, remember, talking remember that well. one? The Macanudo? Yeah. It started well. Yeah, the first two puffs, and then by the, the third the puff. Cafe, the, the Macanudo yeah. Cafe? Yeah. No, you were, oh, yeah, because it was too dry. It was too dry. By the way. Yeah, I remember towards the end, you were. By just the like, way, uh, lots of friends are coming from the South by Southwest in March. Mm. And I'm going to ask them to bring some Brazilian, good Brazilian cigars they have in there. Um, we will not ask for Cubans. No, there are no big Cubans because it's illegal to bring yeah, yeah, Cubans. Yeah. No, no, Brazilian. So we're going to bring Brazilian cigars from the airport, which is even legaler. <laughs> you just bring Brazilian cigars from Cuba. Exactly, right? <laughs> so I'm going to make, if you, if you guys enjoy... Is that uh, a thing? Because <laughs> if you buy be. 10 or 20, it's way cheaper too. So okay. um, maybe just an experience for us, right? If you guys want it. Yeah, put a little Love quarter to. in. Yeah, of course we want to. Yeah, of course. I'm just saying it, right? Let's mm-hmm. enjoy that. Of yeah. Course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I've been changing my voice. <laughs> well, no, <but> not good. <laughs> <clears throat> Super Bowl. Yes. Man, uh, what a game. I have. Long game. Very long game. Oh, yeah. It went to extra time. You told us the first so time. So it was, was a tie. It was a tie. There are no ties. There are no ties. No, it's American football, it, not football. It would Toss. have been the first Toss. Super Bowl to ever have a double overtime had it gone into a double overtime, but it, we never made it there. So they were talking, it was the first overtime with the new, over like almost 30 years. Yeah, the new, it's like not sudden death rules anymore. And okay. I think everybody that was just a viewer was kind of confused too when the time was running out, why they weren't calling a timeout with. 15 seconds left. If the clock would have ran out, we would have just gotten a new period, like an, another quarter to just keep playing. I didn't know that either. Uh... But they were talking, Tony Romo on the broadcast was talking about that because he's like, I know a lot of you might be wondering why are they not calling a timeout right here? The clock's running out. Um, and they needed to score. They were down three. The clock could have completely expired and they would have just started another period, even though. And I didn't know that. Uh... Even though they had not finished their uh, play yet. Yeah, just if the clock ran out and they hadn't scored because any they, points, but they then have would be to have a chance. I guess. But then they would but lose. They, no. They would lose but that, because well, it was 22-19, right? So that's what, that's what but everyone's that's thinking. But that's what the new rule is. Like If the time ran out and it was 22-19, they just start another overtime period. Be- but it was 3-0. No, because... They wanted. No, because... The new rule is like it's basically starting a new game. Okay. So that's just the first quarter of like the new game. So it would go to another... Overtime period. Wow. That's so, so, but, bizarre. but isn't it? Yeah, it's until... like having the second, um, um, when you go, when you go to overtime for soccer, and yeah, then, then you two have 15 minutes. Yeah, but that is, okay. So Maybe... that was the first 15 minutes. Yes. That was the first, and then we'd have two 15 minutes in football. So, so after it that, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, so they would. Because they had the ball, because they were in attack? No, or... no, it doesn't yes. matter. Yes, oh, yes, because yes, you're yes, in yes, attack. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, because they were in attack. Okay. So they didn't have the chance to, to play to so remember how we were saying you get the ball one time and if you score a if you score so San Francisco got the ball and they kicked the field goal right so now it's Kansas City's turn it's about possession and, yeah they came down but time was running out mm-hmm. so if they would have just stopped they still had a chance to either score or kick a field goal to keep the game going right and, right so it begs the question what's the point of the the time and the period. So let's say Kansas City gets stopped on that fourth down. There's still like 12 minutes left on the clock. Game over. It's still game over. They don't keep playing. I think it's just tradition. I think but at that point. It might be helpful with like the play clock, 40 seconds. I don't know. But they're, yeah, at the end of the game there, they would have just started another one. And then yeah. I guess if they would have been tied at the end of that period, we'd go into a double overtime. Let me ask a question. Because, oh, look, so no, but, but for example, if they had five minutes left 
Yes. And then and then they had a, they had a, a touchdown like they did, but there was only like five seconds left, right? So if they had like still five minutes left, and then it would just start, they, no. they would keep on playing. I think if they. I don't even know, but I think if they scored and there's five minutes left and they go up by four points because they were down three, they just win the game. They did because San Francisco scored first. That's their possession. That's a, that's my point. Okay. So that was so they they, they popped the they, they populated the rules uh, for it before overtime. Every team gets one present one possession. So San Francisco got make the ball. It fairer. And yes. more competitive. Yes. So the only way to extend it is if they're still tied. Exactly. So if they go down and score a touchdown, Kansas City scores a touchdown, or Kansas City kicked a field goal there, so that would have extended it. Yes. But even though the time was expiring, if it gone all the way to zero, it started over with another 15-minute period. If Kansas City scores, still game over. Yeah. Because it's based off possession. But if they kick a field goal, then it goes back to San Francisco, which begs the question, if San Francisco won the uh, coin toss, they probably would have been in a better position to put the defense on the field first yes. and then know what they had to do because Kansas City ended up in a position where they were fourth and one, I believe. If they would have had the possession first, there's a chance maybe they punt that ball. They were fourth and one on their own 30. Yeah. So if they go for it and they don't get it, that's a chip shot for San Francisco. Yeah. Game over. But I like to defer and say that Kansas City came back or or all of the, all of the reporters were asking about it they said they had been preparing for this that if it did go into overtime that these are the rules and this is what it came down to okay. Kansas, City knew. <laughs> Kansas City knew San Francisco I believe didn't a report came out that they didn't so that comes down well, to they made a mistake good this coaching. is so amateurish Andy discipline Andy Reid <coughs> discipline that's when, that's when discipline and good coaching and reading the fine print so that guy knowing. then shouting at the coach then bullshit then because the coach is really yeah, he's really good. The guy shouldn't be shouting at the coach. Hey, it's Taylor Swift's boyfriend, man. Lay off. <laughs> man, he became, he became a meme. <laughs> I, I, I've read so, read so, so many. many. No, I've I've read, read, I've, I've, on second thought. On second thought, thought right? <laughs> I've read so many memes no. with this scene. Okay. Yeah. And hold then, on, hold on. i got to do on second thought. On second thought. <laughs> he was right. I've complained. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, John. It's fine. It's so that means was, uh, her next breakup song is gonna be anger issues, you know. Yeah, <laughs> sure. But I've seen the memes too. It's like him in the ear. Exactly. Uh, and have you seen her like uh, Taylor Swift drinking the beer? But you know, like I didn't know that that was a thing. It has been a thing that she started, and then everybody started drinking, and then she promoted that, and then they filmed her, and she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna do this." So she she took it. You know, they do that in her. the NBA and stuff too when there's celebrities at a game yes. and they put it on you almost always they just start chugging exactly. their everybody and watching them on the gym. And there was so many so yeah. much backlash on this. Oh, you see that she's binging drinking and Yeah. It's Super Bowl. You promoting have, you have alcohol. Per yeah. Permission. You almost have permission to do that in a Super Bowl. It's a terrible example for our children. It, it yeah. is. So stop. Yeah. Uh, it's a pity tell that them, only... tell them to go back into their rooms and read the Bible. Exactly. Yes. Yes. What would Jesus not And only watch? 124 million people watched it yesterday. It was the record. While she's hanging out with Ice Spice, you know. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, right. Let them live their lives, man. They're people, yes. too. We, we glorify celebrities a bit too much. Yeah. You know, they're people. And... Let it go. I agree, I agree. Let it go. I'm drinking. Why can't she drink a beer, you know? Exactly, yeah. It's a Super Bowl. I, so, I want to do one shout-out. We'll go around the table. One shout out from the Super Bowl that I noticed that I want to I want to acknowledge. Post Malone, he did a great job of singing "America the Beautiful" in the beginning. And what was he wearing? Crocodile. Uh, was he wearing uh, Crocs? Camo no, Crocs? No, but when he went back up into the stand, oh, they Dallas show? Cowboys. He yeah. was wearing a Cowboys uh, jacket Cowboys, yeah. and a Dallas yeah, yeah, hat. Yeah, oh, that's so right. I give him props because he's from Dallas. That he's still sticking with his team, even well, though the Cowboys um, aren't there. He's I, his dad. Yeah, I, I noticed guys. that. Like a red, uh, uh, a red uh, overall kind of thing with a I stop. No, no, no. It was uh, a silver, silver, silver. silver, silver. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it was like a blue old kind of guy. His dad actually works for the Cowboys or did. He was like part of the staff. Mm. Um, so he's he's been a part of like the Cowboys world for a very long time. Post Malone, he's always stayed true to the. Let me, so he's he's my he's my shout out for sticking true to the sticking true to the team and his cause. You see, let me tell you something. Um, you see, I have a clean slate. So for me, when I watch that, 
You know, like what I see, I just see two teams. I don't know what the history behind, right? But because everybody was cheering for the, for the Chiefs, and I think I picked up, I picked them up since my very first day here. I yeah. thought they would win, yeah. if you remember. You did? Because of Taylor Swift. You see, I called that out before everybody started talking about it. So is your shout out to you? I uh, think so. Yeah, you're a genius. Subtle oh, facts. I'm sorry. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Uh, what can I say? So you're, <laughs> you're flexing now. No, he's flexing. Yeah, yeah, yeah but last week, flexing. Last week I was flexing about talking, you know, speaking three languages. Yeah, yeah. I yes, only flex that you. because I can. <laughs> <laughs> because I can in this case, right? It's like, fuck your three languages. Yeah. I predicted the Super Bowl, okay? Yeah. And Taylor Swift. Three languages is nothing. Who's yeah. the guy on uh, Good Morning Football? Who's He's predicted the Super Bowl winner for like, Five years in a row, like the, the week one, he said who he thinks is going to win the Super Bowl. He's got it right every year. He knew about, uh, about he Taylor know? Swift, probably. I don't know. Maybe he's read the script. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and he probably knew that Taylor Swift would date this uh, Kelsey, you know? Mm-hmm. So he anticipated that. I kept saying, if you believe that the NFL is rigged and it's scripted, then bet, put your mortgage on the Chiefs because <laughs> they're going to have Taylor Swift's team win. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not why they won, but. You'd be sitting pretty right now. Uh, going into the game, they were plus two. They weren't the favorites. And then at halftime, I think the live odds went negative. It was minus seven and a half for San Francisco. So everybody started hammering even harder on the 49ers. So your odds for Kansas City would have been really good mm-hmm. if you're a gambler. We can't gamble here in Texas. So Man, I, just, I wasn't yeah, doing that. Yeah, I just feel sorry for San Francisco 49ers quarterback. Oh, uh, Brock Purdy? Yeah. Oh, he's um, young. He's young. He'll be I know, but come it's... A bu- come on, it's the second time, isn't it, that, that he lost? Um, no. First Super Bowl. Not in the Super Bowl, oh, but he has okay. the NFC Championship game against the Eagles, I believe, last year, and everybody got hurt. So oh, just, he got hurt. He won the conference. That's true. But that's Last a, year he... Man, no. He lost the Super Bowl. No, he... No. This year he did that. Yes. Last he, last year he lost the conference. He lost. Yeah, the yeah. But I'm saying uh, the, this year he won the conference. He won the conference. But that's yeah. just like the Boston Celtics. You Dude, know? They win. On, they win a lot of conference. He's still on a rookie deal. It was the last time they won? That's true. That's he's true. not even making big. I mean, he's making a lot of money, but he's not making money like the, the superstars. Yeah. He's on a rookie deal still. So I mean, he's got plenty of time to go. Out. Yeah. His heart is. It's going to be. Playing against Patrick Mahomes for the next 15 years or however long he plays. That's, everybody's going to be dreading that for a while because he's he's just so good. So who's your shout-out, Hilton? My shout-out is to, is to you for having us in your house and, uh, Thank you. and uh, very comfortable chairs and yeah. couch. And, uh, <laughs> the cigar, the story. Time. Bromance. Yeah. At so <laughs> you had a nice pub nice talking. rest. Yeah, and then uh, you know, having my uh, foot resting on Lua. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. <laughs> the impertinence. But uh, uh, I like that number ten guy, Isaiah Pacheco. Yeah, that that guy. Yeah, he can go through. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wish I could show you the meme. I, I wanted him to have played that, you know, um, game when it was like four and one, mm-hmm. so that would keep on going and scoring a touchdown. Yeah, he just because then we would need to go all the way to you know tie break. That guy has been running so hard all year. He deserved that. He deserved yeah. that. And McCall Hardman catching the game-winning touchdown at the very end too is special because he got traded to the Jets and then he came back. Oh. And uh, he said when he caught it, he blacked out. Yeah. You know, like he's just. Is he a veteran? Or um, yeah, he's been in the league for a while. Right? He he blacked out where he caught the ball, and then he was like, he didn't know what was going on. Like until disassociated. People were jumping around. He's like, oh, I guess the game's over. I've won. We won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, man, like I felt it was too much. Of everything was so yeah. crazy that it was a little bit like uh, disappointed to not see like a spectacular. Um, um, Home, uh, you know what? You know I, what I'm saying? Touchdown. I, you know I what I'm see what you're saying, but I thought it was you the two. Oh, no, I, I you didn't. two are just talking, and I was like so worried about the game because yeah. <laughs> I was I missing Dylan they, over there because he would be with me. <laughs> I think they caught him off guard. I they think, did. I think uh, they just kept waiting for them to call a timeout because they thought when the clock expired, the game would be over, but that wasn't the case. And then they snapped it with like three seconds left, and the defense was just like a half second. Like, what the hell just happened? Boom! So it, a, it was just, and I immediately I left my couch. Oh, I was so and excited. He was going right. which way? He was going to, to the, the right. Left. 
No, he was going to the, to the left. left. And then he, he stopped and came back. back. Talking about Patrick Mahomes or uh, Mahomes. Mahomes? Hartman? Hartman. Oh, okay. He cut yeah, to he the did left. that. He did that. Uh, you know, he the improvised turn. the play. Yeah. 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 You know what? Phenomenal. I thought you were talking because Mahomes rolled out to the right. So yes. he's watching. I thought you were talking about Mahomes. No, no, no. So, yeah, he, he's like running a slant. I mean, that's great receivers do that, you know? Yeah. They're, they can adapt they on the read, fly. They read the play and then they, they find change. open space yeah. and you got to move. Yeah. But that's what Hilton and I were talking about during was they should be playing to the left a little bit more yep. because every time they're playing to the left they would gain yards that's true and playing to the right to just like stop the clock yep but maybe you know ha- certain they made adjustments for that maybe at some point so i don't know on the very I beginning you said that they were trying on the left and it wasn't working it was bugging me um their first three drives on second downs they kept running these little bubble screens that would go for two yards or like negative yards yeah and i didn't understand why they were committing that to the playing calling scheme so much because I was predicting and like watch they're gonna run a fucking bubble here and then they do it so I felt because I think like the defense will get... start start predicting that also you know what though and then you switch it up and then they're like oh shit the, it, it's this weird vanilla. game of chess where like if I just vanilla. if I keep running the same thing they're not gonna expect me to run the same play again but I don't know maybe wow. they do yeah. so it's just it's a it's a long game of chess. Back and forth. So who's your shout out? Alicia Keys, man. She laid it down <sighs> on that piano. Um, and Patrick Mahomes, you know. Yeah. Super Bowl MVP. He is just great at taking what a defense will give him. And all game, you know, he wanted the deep ball, wanted to find other stuff, but he's just he's just staying alive out there. That defensive Huge front arms from ball. San Francisco, yeah. they were eating them up, man. So he, Do you he was just that fighting I told for his like- life. Was that who was that the one that did that block? Was him? No, 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 no. It was the other guy, right? The Kansas City blocked what the 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 extra point? point. Yeah, the extra point. That was uh, Kansas City um, blocking. uh, Was that Chris Jones? That wasn't Chris Jones. It was a big, huge guy, and then he just like went like that. Long arms, and and then he he had already kicked it. Even if he didn't put his hand up, he kicked it so low that it might have doinked off the upright or something. He, he was like, right, uh, he yeah, was, no, the guy was said. protecting I mean, down it here look like something. a player. He was holding a play and then he, he, still, he, he wasn't even like upright. He was like kind of bending a little bit because he was holding up a play. Rubber man. Such a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he put the hands on. Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. fantastic yeah. Stretch arms, yeah. He was full. He would hit him right in the chest. <laughs> yeah. cool. But do you remember this? Car- there was a cartoon from the 60s that's called The Rubber Man, the 70s. The Rubber Man. It was so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and that was him? Yeah, of course. No, oh, man. I asked about that, remember? During the football, was super during the football, the during, during the game, blocker. I asked you, yeah, like, how how often do they get blocked? So, and it's so funny. So that that happened during the during the game. Uh, George asked, he goes, "How often do uh, do they block that?" And I think it was after it was after one of the field goals. Yes. And George asked it, and I go, "I, I mean, it happens at least once a week. You know, sometimes a little bit more, but well, at least I was once impressed. A week. I thought, I thought maybe yeah. once per season. You know. And then when it came up for the extra point, and and it got blocked, yeah, I just looked like, at what, two minutes I, since he asked the George, it into existence. George, yeah. George, did you read the script? <laughs> George, <laughs> George read the NFL script. Just and he didn't tell me. Yeah. Why have you been typing in the chat, GP? Man, mm-hmm. it's <laughs> giving you the script. Do you have any more predictions, like uh, about our podcast going viral? And yeah, yeah. Um, not I yet. Do, not I yet. Do. No, don't I just force can't it. review at the right. Yeah, I don't just can't review it the yet. right time. Who's don't. gonna win the constructors championship? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. I, I'm, okay. I'm now. I'm, 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 I'm thinking Ferrari now. I'm thinking Ferrari to, to might receive do it. Hamilton. Yeah. Well, that's 2025. He's still yeah. with Mercedes. This so that's year. that's what I'm saying. I want Ferrari to win, so that uh, Hamilton would move into a winning team. I mean, he might, man. He might. We don't know. We're getting there. So back to Super Bowl. Um, there was a lot of great commercials. Yes, yeah. commercial. Let's go around the table, and uh, which one was your favorite? I, there was a lot that I thought were good. I thought this year it was a was a good amount of, of good quality commercials. I laughed at all of them and I cried at one. And I know which one you cried yeah. at. Yeah. Everybody cried. Yeah, that was a sad one. I didn't see that one until he showed me it back on YouTube yesterday, I believe. I didn't see that one live. 
for yeah. some reason. You probably went to the bathroom or went to grab a beer or something. I just know? hate some women and girls and stuff anyway. So it's like, I'm going to skip out on this. Yeah, that Kia, uh, it, it, it made a mark. It's like, I mean, even watching again, showing him, it, it's so touching. You know what I mean? You know, to me, being a father of girls, um, it, it, it's uh, it's very touching. That one Aaron's was really, soft. really in impressive kia or dove i thought it was, it was dove. Kia. Is kia the electric uh the new electric ah uh, okay 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 yeah. yeah i got i got the commercials mixed up yeah. and the commercial i really liked uh, there are some like really funny ones but the ones that i really like you know uh, was the i uh the electric five and i5 bmw what are you talking about <laughs> christopher christopher walken that was a great one i love christopher walken everybody was doing the impressions of yeah him. That's the commercial. Is it the BMW one? Yeah, that's yeah. the BMW one. Yes, yes. Not that, I, I liked it. I yeah, liked it the electric BMW commercial. Yes. <laughs> yeah. would be I don't care about the actor. Right? <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't even know who he he'll, was. He'll, he'll just drooling at the car. He's like, yes. you know, so I was asking you who Taylor Swift was, and it's like, the one with the curly hair? Or the one with the... <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> I didn't spice. know. Yeah, there, there you and go. then it's like, no, no, the and other Mike one with the, you know, with the long hair. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I think it all depends on how you enjoy the ads, right? So this one is the wittier, right? The wittiest of all. I mean, it, it's fun. It's, you know, the BMW from, one? you remember the brand because sometimes the commercial is so good that you don't remember the brand. You just remember the commercial, right? You're, yeah, exactly. So this one, I think it's the right amount, the right person, the right joke, and the product It's clear there. So I, that's yeah. why this is the cleanest one. Yeah. But I like polemic, right? Of course, uh -huh. and, and of course the best Never, ones. right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> never. I'm shocked, right? Yeah, yeah right. That's my shocked face. How about <laughs> the Kennedy? How about the Kennedy? I didn't see that one live either. I didn't see that one live. We were all confused. I did not know what was going well, on. So was he. <laughs> he man, might watch it live. Like what the fuck? Man, the man. <laughs> how to screw your campaign in one second? Because his family has a big backlash from his family, you know? Yeah. Like he, had, he had to apologize for that. He's come out and even said, he's like, yes. I'm embarrassed that's even happened. Exactly. Yeah, no idea what, what that is. And the one about Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't see that one live either, but I saw it all over Twitter. Were you, we were like, were oh, you nice. watching the Super Bowl, Dylan? Jesus Christ. Oh, that man, was, that was twice. It happened <laughs> It happened twice. In the, in the hospital bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. The restroom, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, the hospital Wi-Fi wasn't the best. Exactly. <laughs> I don't remember that Pro one. Probably you saw that. Which you thought, of, oh, the, my God, the, this, the hospital. this restroom is so sanitary. Oh, you are in the hospital. <laughs> He's making you know, fun of me being in the hospital. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, bad. if you watch Friends, you know, that's, that's come on there, right? Grey's Anatomy. They, that's that's the, their favorite place to do that. <laughs> Find a break room. Exactly, know? right? Doing so OnlyFans in there. They go there even in the days off. The, the days off, you know. <laughs> days off. Yeah. Nurse by day, only yeah. fans by oh, night. Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah. So uh, definitely the the wittiest is the one with Christopher Walken. Yes. But the polemic ones, man. It's another one that I had a when I saw the Temu Temu Temu. Oh God. Thousand times. Three times. Did you, I think they did are you the know what I see? More money. Did you know what I see? Invasion. Mm -hmm. Colonialism. That's what I see there. It was an update from the one they did last year. Because last year the jingle was the same thing. Like, shop like a billionaire. Right. But it was a different jingle and they switched it. But I saw so many memes of, like, uh, like the Secret Service and George Bush's exactly. ear. Like, their 9-11 was like, uh -huh. sir, exactly. Tim Cook just released a third Super Bowl. <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> like, That's so funny. Yeah. So That's many memes about it. it. Yeah. It's like a, another one? Jeez. So unnecessary. So, <laughs> so unnecessary. Yeah, I, yeah. That one's like, they spent a lot of money, man. The three. Three. And then once it went into overtime, they probably were like repeating some from before. I saw that one five times, I yes. counted. I saw that team yeah, one three times. Times. five times. I saw it five times. I saw three times, yeah, yeah. So I saw three. I wasn't paying yeah. attention the whole time. Yeah. And the commercials, of course, because the money. game I watched. And then apparently Kanye West had a Super Bowl ad. I didn't see that one live either. He spent $7 million on the slot, but they never spent any money on the actual production of the commercial. Wow. So it was him just doing a selfie video like, hey, go to Yeezy.com and buy some shoes. Like, that's all it said. And it worked. 
they made like twenty seven million dollars in revenue or something. Jeez. They like drove people to this unbelievable. Thing. I didn't. I do not remember that. I didn't. I saw it on Twitter and I was like, was this really live or is this a meme? Because it was. But apparently, some people saw it live. I missed that one. Apparently, I missed a lot of them. So. <laughs> well, if I watch it again, I would potentially remember of it because so I what, was paying attention. So, what did you watch, and which one was your favorite, and which one was your least favorite? Um, I really liked the Dunkin' Donuts one with Ben Affleck. <laughs> that was my was favorite. Is it yours? I was just gonna say that one. That was yeah. my favorite by far. It's really hard being your it's... friend, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good line. Oh man! Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like Tom Brady, just like with the glasses on. Yeah. She's like, you can stay, Tom. And oh, that's they, at the end. At the end, right? They yeah. showed them, uh, on, you know, at the stadium. Yeah. They showed them at the stadium after the commercial. <laughs> yeah. I don't know my least favorite one. Like, so they were remember. friends in the end. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also yeah. like the Paramount Plus mm-hmm. one, but they had released that before the Super Bowl came out, so. I already knew what it was going to be. And they didn't even, sh- they didn't do the whole commercial that they released prior, but that one was funny. With the uh, Sir Patrick, um, they like, put some things like throw the child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. How about the, the trailers? The movie oh, the movie. Dead, Dead, yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, the Twisters look really stupid. Twister, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won't be seeing that one. And uh, how about the, Planet, Planet of the Apes. That looked interesting. Yeah, well, that was. Really I, was I think I the was one outside, that I liked, but I saw, but I saw just like monkeys a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I think I liked uh, the most was the uh, Wolverine, and and I also really liked the Planet of the Apes. So. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Yeah. That's gonna it. be worth going to the theater and. and Seeing it on the IMAX. Yeah. Let's go to IMAX to watch it. No, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Vision Pro. Oh, but the IMAX, we would, I would like to go to movies because you would be embarrassed because this kind of movie would, yeah, I would just scream like every time Godzilla or, you know, or whatever, I show up, I would do that, yeah. King Kong versus Godzilla. His wife, Tommy, was more interested in the movies than, than oh, the my wife was the, all the commercials. But she was, she was really impressed by oh, yeah. the Tamil. Oh, yeah. She was really impressed, you know, Tommy was really <clears> impressed by the Tamil. Yeah. Because of the money yeah. they spent for the slots, you know, she was like the second time they came out. It was like the invasion. What? That that uh, correction. That was my least favorite commercial. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah. And I have to concur. That was my least favorite commercial as well. If it would have been a no, one my and least done, I would have been the like Jesus that. one. I, think I didn't was, see that. Was one. a little bit off the. It just made you I, feel. I, I didn't understand why. Did it feel sacrilegious there. to you or something? Yeah, it, it felt kind of. Um, uh, I don't know. Forced. Forced. Yeah. It felt it's, it's, forced. I and felt it just weird. made you feel bad. Yeah, it's I like felt, a, no uplifting factor. Yes, exactly. And I, I felt weird about the Kennedy ones. Like, what's going on? I, I didn't understand. There's like a Scientology commercial. Did y'all see that one? Man, I don't think so. It's just because the Kennedy one, no one understood. No. You understand what I'm saying? Well, after it happened, I told George. I looked at George and and, and Hilton, and I go, I have never seen a Super Bowl with a presidential campaign video. Yes. Oh, and one thing that I, I, I did I did notice, I didn't mention it, was that at the very end, usually when that happens, the candidate says, this is whoever, I approve this message. Yes. They did not say no. that. They did not say that, and it caught me off guard. I'm going, I have never seen one where it doesn't say the person, like, I approve this message. It just shows like a campaign video. So Man, odd. There are so many variables for the tail actions there. This is just to show that one event caused a turmoil. Oh, yeah. One event. So how many are you going to have for the next nine, eight months? It's going to be the most unhinged oh, well, nine months out. in elections that you, you remember. He's out. It's yeah. gonna be he's, fun. He's gone. This year is going to get, you know, so much political you know, yeah. everywhere. But not in this podcast, right? Uh, yeah. We, we might get a little bit, but more. We might have to cover a little bit of yeah. it. But. Uh, but I'll say at the the Dunkin' Donuts was probably my favorite. Was fun. That, that one, one. That one. That was one, the funniest. And I, and I really liked the, the Bud Light Genie. I like the Bud Light. Yeah, commercial. we mentioned that. Well, okay, I, I'm I, I'm back and buying I uh, think I'm Bud, Light. Buy Bud Light again. <laughs> and you know who's the new brand ambassador for Bud Light? Post Malone. And Shane Gillis. 
Oh yeah, oh, that's right. Man. I love Shane, man. He's yeah, so we, fun. we might have to be back. We might yeah. have to be back on Bud Lights. Yeah, they're they're making a, a comeback. Yeah, that's a full 180 from uh, Dylan Mulaney. Yeah, Mulaney, whatever. Yeah, her name is. Yeah. Yeah, that's the complete opposite. opposite as, as Shane Spectre. Gillis. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Is in there. How many commercials do you have about AI in the in last year Jeez. versus this year? Oh, well, this year, I mean, that whole Jesus commercial was AI-generated pictures yes, about yes. them washing feet. Yeah. That's all it was, was just AI-generated pictures. Yeah. Nine ads covering AI oh, in really? this video uh, versus only half last year. So this is just to, to call the attention for that, right? Time out. My other least favorite commercial. <laughs> I just remembered. That Red Hat one. Oh, my. I didn't under... <sighs> It was yeah I know the worst I know. product placement. Mm -hmm. It was for it was for a software company, and they're supposed to be protecting. And she instantly and like the lady gets like a red like she goes out the door and her hat changes red. So there is a company called Red Hat, which is a uh, which IBM bought a long time ago, and and it's part of the IBM universe. But it was a commercial for a completely different other company. So instantly you go, Red Hat, oh, that's, that's Red Hat, you know, yeah, IBM's yeah. doing some type, and then it goes like, Power Surge, yeah, exactly. org, and you're like, like what, is this? what the hell did I just watch? None of it made sense. Product, the commercial, nothing made complete sense. They just spent millions of dollars for absolute nonsense, in my opinion. So, I missed... Elon Musk on that on that one because I uh, I thought mm. he would talk about Grok. Grok was the AI for Twitter. Yes. So I, I just really thought he would explore that, you know. I, I also didn't really like um, other people probably did because they like I didn't really like the Cardi B one, like the lip plump oh, thing, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. Had, and I thought that was kind of weird. But it's just because Cardi B gets on my nerves, and <laughs> like weird laughs. And I'm probably a little biased on that. Oh, the other one was really funny. It was the neighbor. Oh, Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. That was a good one. That, that was, was one. so, Stay, Stay Farm? so yeah. funny. Neighbor. And then, you know, they get... Uh, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. To <laughs> it's like, you're a traitor. No, I'm a traitor. traitor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, backstabber. Backstabber. Yeah. Yeah. Backstabber. Yeah. 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 Backstabber. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Backstabber. That was amazing. And that, that comes to a point that we discussed... Also, how many elderlies were part of the, All of of the advertisements? All of them. No, it, it was, I've never seen so many ads pick, uh, picking successionaries. How do you say it? Like if it's 60s and 70s, when people are in the 60s and 70s? Uh, successionaries or something? Baby you know, it's just that there is a name <laughs> to describe that. I yeah, anyway. Yeah. But it was the. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so it was. I've never seen anything, anything like this. Well. Yeah. You know, a lot of old people. Christopher Walken, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito. Uh, yeah, there was, there was Christopher quite Walken, a, right? You, you yeah, 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 yeah. I mentioned that. Uh, T, quite, what was that? Uh, Bea. What, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. T. Mr. Mr. T. Yeah. But it was more. like cause when, While we were talking, then I told you and, then you, and then you said, yeah, that's true. And again, and again. He read the script. He I read am. the commercial Telling script, you, yeah. the football script. Like gonna keep George Moore on these sporting events. <laughs> He's gonna win the World Series. I wanna know that. I'm gonna start putting in my best. Be right careful. Now. Yeah. He came from the future. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've got oh, the almanac. So nice. Yeah. I've got yeah. the almanac. Yeah. Yeah, for all the years. Like, Back to the future. It was Biff. Yeah. yeah. Biff, right? Oh, yeah. That was a good show. I can't remember the name of the show. It was, um, I think, James Franco and he goes back in time trying to stop like the assassination of jfk and he has like a little book that's all the re recorded sports events yes. and uh, the final score so he could go in and bet and then get rich while he's there well, like, well oh, this is from uh, uh back to the future right so this is what a, beth does oh it's such yeah. a cool concept though i wish i wish uh -huh. i had a cheat sheet for bets <laughs> oh my god well all they need is george <laughs> yeah clearly <laughs> <laughs> i have an army I have a George, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this quote? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I have a Hulk. Yeah, right. Uh, Lucky. You don't need a Hulk. Yeah. You got a George. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? 
I have an army. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I was like, we have a Hulk. <laughs> it was, I think, uh, Tony Stark who yeah. says that, right? In Avengers 1. Oh, well, until he didn't. <sighs> I know. Like, you know, Snap Man. Ooh. Killer. <laughs> and then all Avengers and Marvel just kind of... Yeah. on a downward trajectory from, from then. For me. You know, because I used to really be into Marvel. And I just... It lost its touch. I know, man. Yeah, because they're having to bring people back and then... But that happens. Multiverse in, you know, and yeah. people wear. But wasn't there like a new national anthem too? They busted out at the beginning of the game. The black, the black, uh, the black national anthem. Yes, I didn't watch it. We we turned it on just after that happened. I just saw it on Twitter, but um, the echo in the stadium, like I couldn't even hear what she was saying. So I don't know what the lyrics are. So I don't know if it's something that I. I can't really weigh in on it. I just thought that was interesting. I didn't know because we didn't see that. I didn't know we needed to tweak the national anthem. You're like dancing carnival music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. It was Reba McIntyre, right? She yeah. sang yeah. the national yes. anthem. Yes, the national anthem. It was pretty good. Do you know? Do you know the actress? Reba McIntyre. Yeah, yeah. She had a, her, a show called Reba. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Look at me try. Speaking oh of God. old, because I was like, really <laughs> you know Art and Cinna? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know Pele? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a country singer too. So but actually, now multiply that for you know, like for a populate for a, a, a population for five billion people. And then this is would be what I just did. He's not just a Brazilian. No, he's just like <laughs> a massive Whoa. broadcasting in English, right? Yeah. yeah I like Reba. Well, she was pretty good. I she liked it. Good. Yeah. Well, and and Tamiris and I were talking about it. We're like, how old is she? she? Because she looks great. And then we looked it up. She's sixty-eight years oh, old. Yeah. Performed phenomenal. She was really good. Yeah. Really good. No big surprises. Nothing. This is. This, what I, it, yeah. this is what I wanted for, from Super Bowl. Yeah. I don't want that big surprise. I want to see But we see got some, some surprises. No, yeah, no, but did. I'm saying about the about the, the anthem, right? I just want to sing it. It's so hard to sing. It's a, such a hard song to... The pitch is so difficult. There are videos, there are doctorates about that. I'm not kidding. Vox, Vox has done this video about that. Said so why it's so difficult. And then they mention this in the video. Because you go low and then you go high for certain, for certain so, parts of the song. It's so yeah. hard to, to, to do it properly. And then you try to twist that? I don't know. I don't no, know. It, was, it was beautiful. It was nice. It was nice. The game, though, I my first Super Bowl experience, and I, it's, I was telling Dylan today, it's interesting because... Uh, when you when you watch uh, rest of the world football, um, and you know, the way the game is, you get like the two times. But then let's say the the, the first uh, period, and then when it go go into the second, you know, forty five minutes. And when it's about thirty minutes into the second a half, if it's still like you know nil nil. You know what I mean? It's a tie. Yeah. Nobody scored. It kind of like everybody goes like, yeah, and people start walking away from the stadium. And you know what I mean? Dull. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> with football, if it's still a tie or it's there, like you know, both teams are playing and trying to score. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but you wanna stay to the end to see. Who is going to be able to score on the last few seconds? Because that was uh, what happened. Yeah. The last few seconds of this of, of the regular time, the fourth um, period there, uh, and then we tie. I say we because we were all supporting the Chiefs. Yeah. So we tie. And it's like oh yes, I have footage on that, and uh, so it was thrilling because it kept us you know on our toes. I remember I was sitting, watching, and like, you know, supporting. But then when the time was like, you know, crunch time, it was like, we're, we're up, you know, of our chairs. Like, just like, yeah, 
Yeah, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make Sitting it. Sitting at the tip of the chair. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, we score. And it's, okay, extra time. It's great, right? The last what? Two seconds or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like fifteen seconds, and then nine seconds, and six seconds. Like, oh, <laughs> do something. Well, and, and so I, I was talking to my dad about it, and I go, Hilton was talking about he watched two football games this year. He goes, he uh-huh. watched the Seahawks and Cowboys game. And then he watched the Super Bowl, and I and I told Hilton I, I said those are probably the two best games of the year, where it was just nonstop action. It was just a really they were just really entertaining games, and my dad goes those are two opposite sides of the spectrum. We talked about that that you could watch pure offense yeah. where it was going at it. They scored. I mean Seattle had to score three touchdowns for one of it to finally count. And yes. then, you know, and, and so, I mean, it was a huge was scoring. Ball, flags and anything else. Yeah, but it was entertaining because you're like, yeah, oh, son of a bitch, they got to go back. And, oh, they did it again. Oh, there's another flag. And they got to do it again. They did. And I was texting you, what's going on? Yeah. And I was texting you at the time. I was like, yeah. what's, what's happening here? Yeah. And, it, and then you come to, the Super Bowl, <laughs> come to the Super Bowl and it's pure defense. Man, it's like when you're watching their talk. When I'm watching the game, I'm so locked in that I'm like, I'm not even on my Right but I was so it. concentrated on that game that I was like, oh, that is that is um, uh, third and four. And then it was like third and four. Yeah. I was looking at it and I was like. And Hilton kept doing that the whole, the whole Super Bowl. Like, He's oh, like, man, they I only... about six yards. Yeah. And they'd be like, yeah, it's a six yard game. It's like, what the hell are you Trying doing? Trying to be an announcer. Yeah. <laughs> he, Hilton did really good. Hey, but that's how you learn more about the game too when you're seeing all that kind of stuff. You get yeah. really into it. I, and I was like, man, it, there was one time. There was like uh, they they did like four and one and and it was not four and one. It should have been first and ten. Yeah, because he was on the line. The ball was just over, and I could see, you know, um, you know the I could see the lines of the pitch, not the, the TV lines. You know what I mean? Right. It's like it should have been uh, first and ten, and then we would have uh, scored the touchdown mm-hmm. instead of the the tie yeah. to go to the tie break. Yeah, yeah. thing is, like, it, they don't show the field at, like, a perfect side angle, but you're seeing mm-hmm. it kind of like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, sometimes what looks like they got to here, because the angle we're looking at, they didn't really get that far. But I, I did give, like, a discount on the angle. Uh, so I was sure. <laughs> I'm not George, though. Oh, look. I didn't know the future. I'm going to be the first one to say that. Nobody said that before. Offense wins games. <laughs> defense wins championships. How come? How come I could come up with that? I'm the first no, one to say that. that. Oh my god! Patent it. <laughs> Put it down in writing. You heard it here first on the puff drink. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god! The first time it'll never be said. You ask us. Oh my god! I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. You're right. Defense wins championships. I love the game because of that. I told you that during the game, like, I hate seeing NBA games now that the scores are 175, like 173. Um, you know, this uh, rules deep. rules changing in favor of offense the whole time. And that thing, I really thought for a while that 49ers could win because yep. they are, the defense was on spot on. Yeah. Mm. So, but then, of course, then, right, so as you say in Portuguese, cagaram no maior. <laughs> Can you translate that? No. <laughs> Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that. like they fucked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> like in a very bad way. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, as a seasoned NFL watcher and fan of uh, not the Chiefs necessarily, but I do like Patrick Mahomes. He's from Texas. Um, there's nothing this man really can't do. He comes back from stuff all the time, and you can see it on T- Taylor Swift's face. Like she, every time they score, she's just so. That's her first time experience, and then have a comeback like that so i never really counted them out but that first drive coming back from second half the very first play where he tosses it to pacheco and he drops it it's about to be a fumble like oh no and then two plays later he throws an interception like this game is about to get away from them and then the defense got three and out yeah that was the only time i was really kind of nervous like oh god this might start going too far Mm -hmm. the other way but then the defense stopped them i was like oh they made some adjustments their defense and they consistently started getting yeah. stops. 
And that's kind of what that was a difference maker. That that moment and when that happened, I got a little bit distracted. And then when I saw it, they had the ball again. I was like, Corn, what happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah. Because I got distracted with food, and I missed. <laughs> See, I missed we that did bit. Not, we did not stop eating, by the way. I believe it. We had four quarters. Just look again. We ate four times. Oh we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was like, are you hungry again? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Never not. <laughs> we were so gluttonous that day. We we're like, "You hungry again?" Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we're just like fat kids. We we're like, "Come on, come with me." We we, we had so much uh, meat that day. Yes. And when I got when I got um, that yesterday, Chris was texting me, "Are you coming home already?" Because Alice is saying that you're coming home. Because you know my daughter had texted me and well called me, and I was like, "Well, I was about to leave." And then she called me. I have to sit down again and then talk to her. <laughs> but I was leaving, right? <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, why? So I want meat. <laughs> and she, 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 next day, she wanted meat again. So I went and, and did a picanha again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can never have too much picanha. You see that? Yes. That's what Super Bowl gives me. You know, protein. That's the new fancy oh, thing, right? <laughs> so it just, it just, I eat a lot of protein. Look, that's the perfect combination. Yeah. Barbecue. In the Super Bowl, and then we know and beer like, and ice cold beer, yeah. drinks, beverages, and wine. I had some wine. And really good I was wine. gonna bring. I still have it. That Italian is Spanish wine. Yeah, it was pretty good. good. It was like Italian taste. When I drank, it's like, oh, this is Italian wine. Sweet. And then the after my cake. second cup, my Delicious. second glass, I was like, let me read on it, because I, I I took the the wine in, but I didn't read it. You know what I mean? Because I, I I got like a, a random selection. I didn't pick those wines. Oh. They they picked based on my taste, you know, from the website. It's like okay, that's and then nice I, sometimes. Yeah, and because it surprises, right? And then I saw it's like, oh, it's actually Spanish wine, but it has that Italian. It was phenomenal. Taste like. I like doing that at sushi restaurants, and you just do like the chef's choice, and the stuff comes out. You don't know what it's gonna be, and like I always end up liking it. Yeah. You know? Just let, let me just comment about the Asian room, okay. right? Um, it tastes like a lemon lime pie Ooh. right now. So uh -huh. sweet. Is absolutely, it's, man, it's a delight. I need to try this. I, I, I will put a head of uh, half of the Carillos. I mean, the family won't listen to this podcast, but yes, I would put a head, a head of uh, three or four Carillos. I love that. Um, amazing. Because you see, sometimes I say, yeah, sometimes it's, just, it's not yeah, remarkable. No, that's a good one. Yeah, so I mm. love that. That stick would be like $25 in Vegas. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> complain about mine as well. I mean, we've been, you know, it's been sitting here now in Humido for eight months now, been aging it. But when it gets to two years, that it's going to be delicious because it's already really good. I mean, yours is going off a little bit, but mine is getting that taste like, you know. It still tastes really good. Bold taste and it's, I mean, it's, it's just improving the taste. But on a box, I think these are like in the high seven, slow eight dollar range per stick. So it's not like they're crazy. You, yeah. know, yeah. you buy a single one, I think they're under ten for a Robusto. Yeah. They're right around that mark. So I think they're good. Good to know. It's yeah. worth the investment this one. It's a little bit more expensive. Do, do we have anything to show on T V? Um we're good to go. I don't have anything else. I think we covered uh, our Super Bowl experience. Mm -hmm. Everyone good? Um, yeah, I just would like to ask you guys if you want to do the very early prediction for next year. Uh, <laughs> or it depends on the draft. I, I, I think first what we have to do is we got to get our wives and girlfriends and wives to pick our fantasy team for next year. <laughs> and uh, and then you, and then we can do a prediction. Are you ready to, to commit to a fantasy season? Yes, I'm ready. And he was on that. You're on the fence. I'm like that. ready. You see, at the end, you see, we wouldn't have this revelation. Yeah, yeah. if we the, didn't ask this question. Yeah. 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 Formula that? One. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. At the beginning, in the middle of the season, he was like, "Yeah, I don't know about that." You're really on the fence, but. You've turned the corner. Yeah. I mean, if every game is like uh, the Cowboys and Seahawks. the Seahawks and, and the Super Bowl. I'd argue that Chiefs and Bills game, too, leading up towards the playoffs was a yeah, great that game. that was a good game, too. Um, but I don't think one matched the, just the offensive showcase of the Dallas Cowboys and Seahawks game. Nothing matched that. How did we not talk about... And that was our two teams. The Birds. 
The Birds commercial. That oh! was the. the I, thought of you, I thought of you guys immediately. Oh, oh my god. Did you see god. how it flying around? The rain. Uh, that was good. That was pretty good. Like, they to they the were podcast. showing no love to the Cardinals because they suck yeah. so bad. Yeah, I they showed no love to the Angry Birds. But everybody else, man, that, that was a good commercial. Yeah. I loved that one. Perfect closing. Yeah. For the podcast. You see, man. <laughs> you know, just like DirecTV, who, who put out that that commercial they they like and subscribe and comment on our podcast they share with friends you do the same give a like give a share leave a comment talk to us enjoy our content again we're expanding our reach apple podcast spotify check us out there help us out continue this fun adventure with us and I'm also, doing the, the bird dance. Over and there. also tell us if you can speak and, and move, right? And also tell us what was your favorite ad, yeah. right? Yeah. So what your you know no your favorite, favorite uh, trailer no and first the, moment. Hey, give us your prediction there. for next year's uh, Super Bowl winner. We know it's going to be the Dallas Cowboys, but give us your prediction. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pick a team for next year, right? I really. I think you're a Detroit Lions fan. I was, and you know what? That's my surprise team. I think they're going to go to the Super Bowl. I've been thinking about the Lions, but I, I've also been thinking about the Dolphins. So I don't know yet. Yeah. I may need yeah, to I watch so. some yes. highlights yes. between now and then. He has a connection oh. with my, Miami too, so it's yeah. not just like a bandwagon choice. No, yeah. that's true. So I, I need I need to watch highlights on on the Lions and on the Dolphins. Go and back see. and watch some Dan Marino clips. You'll be a fan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna need you're gonna have to pick a different team. He's probably Chiefs. I'm gonna pick up the Chiefs. Why would why okay, why so would it, he's like he's already the Chiefs. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you know no team ever. I know has done a three p back to back to back. Yeah. I think the Steelers did back to back loss and then did another back to back, but no one's ever done three in a row. Do you know the what Steelers is Steelers or the dude, blinders? The Peaky Blinders. Do you know why I'm saying this? And I'm gonna close my part here. It's about it's because sports need heroes. They need icons. They need Michael Jordans. They they need you know uh, Tom Brady, Ayrton Sanas. Yeah, uh, they need Tom. Yeah, they need it. Too. Oh my God! You see, like LeBron and 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 Curry that are retiring. You know they need heroes. So I think that's what they need right now. So People that's are why already I'm, discrediting Mahomes too. They're like, well, he has the perfect setup. He has Andy Reid, Tom oh, Brady. Had Bill Belichick, he went and won with Tampa, so I'm not going to be impressed till they're, Patrick they're Mahomes leaves. Like, everybody's a hater, man. Yeah, I, I'm not. It, it did get to the point. I'll admit when the Patriots were winning so much that I got tired of seeing them. I haven't got there yet with Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Not yet. I feel like if you can't beat them, shut up. Yeah, not yet. They're just that good. So early in the career too, right? Up. So that's what is impressive. Oh, yes. oh six, yeah, six years, six. I think six seasons and three rings. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. From a Dallas Cowboy, Troy Aikman had a quote when he won the uh, thing. Won the first Super Bowl, he had like the same amount of wins or something. And Sam, he's like, "Oh, I'd like to see when he gets, you know, the same amount of super, a third of the amount of Super Bowls as me, because he had the same, a third of the playoff wins or something." Well, now he has the same amount of Super Bowl wins as mm-hmm. Troy Aikman. What? What, what was he's he going to so say? Much time what is his name? Go. Troy Aikman. So Troy Aikman, what do you have to say about that? I want to hear. We want to hear in this podcast. Please, let us know. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs>